Oh my god, guys, I can't believe it. Skyblox finally getting updates again. Between the new F7, the crazy M7 and the nether update on the horizon, it's a very exciting period for Skyblock. And I want to talk about it. But I want to talk about salad even more. Salad is a dish consisting of mixed, mostly natural ingredients... Uh, oh wait, that's the... that's the wrong salad. <laughs> salad is a free crypto mining PC app that basically turns your GPU into a Skyblock minion. And get this, this minion gives you actual money. You can get basically anything. Amazon gift cards, prepaid visa cards, Minecraft accounts, you can even get your mother. Okay, Powliner, but these apps are usually really shady. Yes, valid point, dear viewer. However, I've done my research and based on their overwhelmingly positive reviews and being known for their transparency, I can assure you that Salad's as safe as it gets. All you've got to do after installing it is click start and you're on your way to becoming the next Jeff Bezos. Oh, and make sure to use code Powliner to earn even more. Okay, nether update. I mean, where do I even begin? This is easily gonna be the biggest update Skyblock's ever seen. Tons of new mechanics, armor pieces, weapons, mobs, collections, pets, and most importantly, grinding until you die of old age. There's really not much more you could ask for. Except for fixing the spirit pet bug. I'm probably gonna be asking for that until the day I die. This island's obviously a replacement for the very underwhelming Blazing Fortress, which lasts our relevance right before the moon landing in 1969. <laughs> and let me tell you, this island's big. Really big. Probably bigger than all the others combined. With all this space, there's obviously a lot of content, the vast majority of which seems to be centered around combat, which is great. In addition to big mans, I'm big mans. <laughs> it features four new bosses, who I can only assume drop the four new armor sets and some other stuff. New armor sets? Yeah! And they're really good. Or at least seem to be. Now you might look at this and be like, Powliner, you bumbling ape. These stats suck. This is worse than like, your videos. Okay, firstly, I'm crying. And secondly, yeah, the stats suck. But seeing as all of them have the exact same ones, and that they're incredibly underwhelming, these are very likely placeholder stats, since they don't want us to see just how powerful they really are. What's really interesting about them though are the tiered bonuses. What's a tiered bonus? To find out we'll first have to disconnect and log into Wincraft. Wait, what's this? Is that the subscribe button? In Wincraft of all places? Wow! Just click it please, it's, uh, it's, it's 3am as I'm writing this and I just want to sleep. Also, don't forget about this little guy, you know, make him, make him happy. Anyways, as I was saying, a lot of armor sets in Wincraft have set bonuses. But instead of them only activating once you have the full set on like in Skyblock, they activate as soon as you're wearing two pieces of a set, but are pretty weak. The more pieces you add, the stronger they become, and this makes for far more diverse builds. Basically, these red numbers mean nothing. They're zero because the game knows you aren't wearing any pieces, but as soon as you put on two or more, it's gonna get better and better. With the boring stuff out of the way, the first set, Crimson Armor, is geared towards Berserkers. To simplify this League of Legends description of a text, each enemy you kill gives 0.1 melee range, and after killing 5 enemies, you'll do an AoE swipe attack. Wow, you can already see how different this is from the current Ooh, haha, mini Wither Mango Boom full set bonuses we have. It's very MMO-like and I love it. No clue how good this will be, since melee range seems like kind of a meme. But it would be super funny if you could stack it so much that you'd effectively have a mage beam outside of dungeons. Next up is the terror armor designed for archers. Basically... Something to note here is that this one only requires you to hit enemies to not lose stacks, while the berserker one requires actually killing them so Terror seems way more OP for high HP enemies, aka bosses. Anyways, tanks get Fervor armor, giving them damage resistance and the ability to taunt enemies, similar to how they are in dungeons. And the mage's Aurora armor might as well be written in enchanting table language, because I don't understand anything. At all. And lastly, the healer armor set looks absolutely incredible, and will definitely cause a tremendous meta shift when it comes out. Just kidding, it, uh, it doesn't exist. They forgot about healers yet again. 
Ooh, also, each of these armor sets will have four different tiers. Hot, Burning, Fiery, and Infernal, each requiring more resources to start than the one before and almost certainly giving better stats. The last tier even goes up to 15 stars. Jesus, that's a lot of essence. Oh my god, this will be broken for dungeons, I hear you say. No, no it won't, because it won't be dungeonizable at all. In fact, I'm almost certain none of the new gear will be dungeonizable. But how do they have stars then? Let me explain. After the nether update, stars will no longer mean an item is a dungeon item. Instead, they've made it so that each star now gives a 2% stat boost outside dungeons and a 10% stat boost inside if it's a dungeon item. Essentially, this means that these maxed armor sets will also have a 30% stat boost in addition to probably already having very good stats, which sounds completely OP, but also gives you an idea of just how powerful some of the mobs in this update will be. Oh yeah, these star changes also apply to already existing gear, so we're all becoming a decent bit stronger and tankier. Speaking of armor pieces, there's also four new types of them. Belts, necklaces, cloaks and gloves. Their stats are much weaker compared to regular armor, but they each have a special ability that makes them unique. For example, the delirium necklace increases the fire damage you take, which seems horrible in a vacuum, but when combined with the scourge cloak and flaming fist, it becomes very clear how powerful this really is. A 10,000% boost to fire damage which gets further boosted by the amount of fire damage you've taken, which gets boosted by the Delirium Necklace. And then your melee attacks fire incredibly powerful flaming fists. This is by far the coolest synergy I've seen in Skyblock, ever, and really shows how much fun the admins had working on this update. Unexpectedly, we also get a lot of new fishing content. Firstly, there's a few new sea creatures, the strongest of which requires fishing 45, which makes me very happy for obvious reasons. After such a long time, we've also finally been blessed with new fishing rods that are actually good. By the way, the Rod of the Sea will supposedly not work on this island. Which, uh, you know, makes sense since there's no sea to be found. There's also three new sets of fishing armor, which besides great stats, also have a neat little ability, which I imagine will be required to survive some of the sea creatures on this island. Oh, I'm sorry, they're called lava sea creatures. Ah, yes, of course. There's also a new fishing enchantment, which gives you a 5% chance of fishing up a corrupted sea creature. No clue what that is, but I'm incredibly excited for it nonetheless. Oh, and they've added Jeff Bezos into the game. This is real, by the way. Okay, dungeon time, everyone. Floor 7's boss has been pretty drastically overhauled. One day after I posted part 2 of my tank guide. At this point, I'm fully expecting them to reopen the alpha network tomorrow with a bunch of- We interrupt this program for breaking news. Wait, what? This just in, your mother has in fact been added to the alpha network. No, you the can't do that. The player base is rejoicing as we speak. Anyways, instead of just Necron, we now have to deal with all four Withers. Maxer's in phase one, and he's got a severe case of Withers calling the heck out of you and your loved ones. Phase two features Storm, who talks for 20 trillion years before you're finally given the chance to crush him. He also has the special attack, where he insta-kills you unless you're standing below a pillar, which is pretty cool. Phase 3 is the exact same, except you can no longer skip terminals, and Goldor throws swords at you whilst you're desperately trying to solve Simon Says for the fifth time. Overall, I have mixed feelings about the rework. I love how we finally have all four bosses, but dislike some of the unskippable downtime, and how Lava now does way more damage. M7, however. Oh boy, that's gotta be the craziest floor ever. After defeating Necron, you enter the fifth phase of the boss fight against the Wither King and his dragons. I'm not 100% sure how this works, but I believe you have to kill the dragons next to their corresponding color statue... thingy. I don't know, watch a guide on it if you're interested. What I'm here to talk about are the drops. Besides the obvious stuff like the fifth master star and the already existing floor 7 drops, there's now new shiny wither armor, which is just the Gucci version of it that's, uh, well, more shiny, I guess. No changes to the stats, or at least there were supposed to be none. Turns out the admins did a boo-boo, and accidentally made it so that it could be up to 50% better than regular wither armor, which was patched a few hours later, 
So now these armor pieces are probably incredibly expensive. Amazing. And because the giant sword was so good, they made the giant sword too, aka the Dark Claymore. Nothing very noteworthy about this thing. The extra range is more of a novelty than anything else, but I think it'll probably get an upgrade or something similar in the nether update. Also, it's currently bugged so that you can't put one for all on it, so it's uh, just kinda bad. By the way, I didn't go over all the nether update items we currently know of. I don't think I even went over a third of them if I'm being honest. So if you're curious, I've linked a document with all the currently known info in the pinned comment. Anyways, that's about it. Take care, goons. Thank <laughs> you.